Hello everyone, um, many thanks for all the great feedback I've been getting about the other videos. I'm delighted that um, you're getting use out of them and they're helpful. And arising out of all that feedback is a request and hence this video. Um, and it's all about an introduction to record lists. Now record lists are amazingly powerful things. They uh, add an extra dimension to a contact record or any of the other modules that um, use record lists and it allows you to basically in one record look at a list of things. Now let's define what these things could be for example. A more complicated example is with a client um, recently it was around um, currency of certificates. So you have a customer Employees get trained, so you record their certificates and thing. We do that with record lists. So there's many little records in a list attached to the employer's record, the customer's record. Because remember, the customer is the center of the universe with Flowloop. And so um, we're able to then have currency fields and all sorts. Now, one of the key things about uh, record lists is essentially they're empty until you do something with them. When you create a new record list, it just has a name field, just for the sake of having something. And I even delete that. <laughs> so um, it, it is so bespoke. And that's the power of it. Talk about making it your own. Record lists is actually the, the, the best example of that in the whole of Lulu because it's just entirely, kind of like automations, it's kind of empty until you do something. Um, with it. So, um, other use cases um, other than the certificates for trainees might be a, an approved list of contractors, contractors or um, uh, SEO experts or whatever, um, so that you could have those lists and then which customers use which of those contractors. You could see all that in a project, that would be useful for a project for example. And then um, the one that we're going to do today, and I'm going to walk you through left to right, and uh, so that you can get up and running, is actually meeting notes. How to um, have your meeting notes um, attached to a record, because that's a great example again of how you've got one contact and you could have many meetings with that one contact. Also, you can have, um, you can relate it to a project. So you could have one contact, three projects, and meetings around all the three projects, but they'll all get shown in the contact. Isn't that brilliant? Um, it's And it's actually, once you get the, the head around the notion of it, and it just needs a little bit of planning for the custom fields, because you can't use standard fields, it's only custom fields that you can use. And once you've figured that out, then um, you make it really your own and it becomes um, even more powerful. And then Flowloo becomes a more important tool because nothing else can do it because you've built it in Flowloo to do it. So let's, without any further ado, let's get and, and dive in. Let's get on with it. So how do we do it first? Well, we've got to create the record list first. So we go into here the menu and then get record list. Now, of course, um, the usual caveat, of course, you're not going to see any personal data in here. This is my kind of training flow loop, my development flow loop, and your interface may look slightly differently because flow loop gives us nice options, but um, uh, I'm giving you enough pointers, I hope, for you to be able to um, uh, get around to yourself. So we go to record lists and we're going to hit that plus sign and there we go, add list. We're going to call this meeting notes. And I like to check comments on the item page and I'll show you why later, because it's good. But basically it allows, um, Flowlu has that kind of module that is with the CRM record and projects and everything, but you can just have a, a, a feed. Well, you can attach that to a list record, um, a record list record. <laughs> um, and uh, once you've done that, then that's great. It's once and done. Uh, there you go. So nicely set up. So we have our record list made of notes. Now we need to populate it with custom fields. So we go to settings, we go to custom fields, 
and then we've got all the places that we can put custom fields all listed here and there is in custom lists record lists is meeting notes now as I said there we have the name that we're shortly going to delete there must always be a record for uh, a field in a record uh, list to make it active you know so we add a field because what I, I don't want the name because I actually want it to be looked up connected I want the, the connection of this record list to be the contact name how do we do that well we create a custom field name and we go nearly to the bottom and we select object picker then save now here's the thing we haven't selected yet what object Flowlu has to pick, so we've got to tell it. So we click on that, and here, entity type to connect. This is what we want, and we want CRM account. Um, don't worry about the other things just now. I'm giving you everything that you need to know to get up and running. You can explore other things uh, another time, but this is what you, you need to know, okay? Um, now we're getting rid of the name, which we do by doing that. Now, what else would we want uh, in to record a meeting? What data? Well, I also would like to say, well, what project is it about? Well, uh, object picker again, of course, save. And here and down. And you can scroll yourself, you can connect to different things you can see. Um, there's a lot. Uh, these are the ones that I use most often. And, it's like it's, it's, you see, it's really easy now. That's us connected now in three different ways, three different points: the record list itself, the CRM contact name, and now projects. Okay, what else do we want? We want, to have, I think, well, the date of meeting, yeah. And that's the date field, so that's nice and easy. We don't have to play about with um, the options there, and. I think I'd like to have what the type of meeting it was. So that'll be a drop down. Save. So we'll click on the field. And what we will have is, um, let's see, uh, in person um, video form. Save. Cool. Building this up nicely. And now I think that we're getting to the point where we actually want, you know, the notes. <laughs> And text field is a short field. Uh, text area is more practical for these kind of things that expand as you wish. Um, so that's fine. What else do I like? Oh yeah, progress. How is the progress? And we're going to say drop down again. And da -da -dum. Ahead of schedule. Um, on schedule, behind schedule, disaster. Okay, um, and then I would say I would like tasks arising, and that would be another text area. Um, and thinking ahead. And I'll explain why when we get to that point. Tasks for NG. Question mark. And we're going to make that just a yes, no. Boom, boom. Save. So there we go. Cool. So we've created eight fields. Um, if you want to delete them, I showed you how to do that. You just press and you can, you know, have as many as you want. If you click the one at the top, you delete all of them and you can start again. Yeah. Cool. But that's it. We have, we have now set up our own record lists for meeting notes, and it's now available for us to use. See? And so if you do a little bit of thinking out of Flowdo, you know, on a bit of paper, on, on your favourite planning software, whatever, then come in and build it. It's very, very quick. So let's go to CRM, shall we? <clears throat> and we're going to have a little look at Hermione Granger. I'm going to show you empty ones first of all. So here we have um, the trainees I was talking about earlier and the meeting notes. You get the idea of you can have as many lists as you want 
and if it's if it has the connection with a CRM account, all of your accounts will have the lists and allow you to add items to those lists, whatever they are. Uh, let's have a look at a populated one, Claire Dunphy. We're going to look along the lists here and we'll see Claire Dunphy is connected to trainees. Great. But I had a meeting with Claire yesterday, so I want to record that. So click add item. And this is brilliant. I just love this. <laughs> It pre-populates, it knows, slowly knows you're in the contact record, that that is a connection between the record list and um, the, the, the contact. And so it auto-populates it. Brilliant. Um, we're not in a project. If we were in a project, for example, we would be able to have that pre-populated if we went into a project first, i.e. we were taking a uh, uh, meeting note, sorry, a recording a meeting note project would see it pre-populated. I'll show you that just, just for fun. Um, but I'm going to use Raffle around the website. Boom, boom, boom. Date of meeting, that type, it was video, notes, blah, blah, as long as you want. Progress, ahead of schedule, obviously. Tasks, yes. Tasks for NG, yes, that's me. So we click save. And there you go, we have it. There. Isn't that brilliant? So we've got that, and so and then we can create another one and say, right, uh, project, we'll, we'll say it's Clean Hogwarts. Um, and it was on the 12th, uh, and the type was in person, da -da -da -da, progress behind schedule, oh, oh, oh. and yes, be lots. Put that in, and there you have, we've got all the different things. And then we can also then look and see how many were video, how many in person. How cool is that? Now, if we wanted, we could go into projects, look at Ralph Lauren project, go to lists. There we have the clear done because it's connected. So we see it at the person level and the project level. How cool. Then we can add an item. And remember last time Claire was connected. Um, well, we were in the, her record, so it was auto-populated, but we're not this time, but we are in the website uh, project, so that is shown. <sighs> but um, I'm going to say that this was um, with Hermione, okay? It wasn't with Claire, and it was on the 12th, type uh, in person, um, boom, 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 boom. Um, on schedule, uh, no... Uh oh no, no, there we go. So we have two for projects, right? Now we should be able to go into Claire and see that she's got um, a couple there. There we go, Ralph Lauren, great. Now we added Hermione without being in her record, but in the project we, uh, we attached her record to it. So we go to lists and there you go. So you can look at it in all different ways. And there is a final way you can look at it. You can actually go to record lists and make the notes. And then you'll see all the meetings with all of the projects and all the things in that. This is just an endless ribbon of all your meetings. And, and so you can have a look in there. And it's on this page that if you wanted to um, delete um, meeting notes, I'm sorry, um, I wanted to talk about this on the record lists, um, and you go all lists, it's on this page that you can delete. You just select, hit the bin, and it's, it's done. Um, because, you know, sometimes you might decide, right, that's enough, I don't need these record lists anymore. Um, it could be project related, for example, and then you can move on from that. So, um, one more thing that I'd like to show you, um, because if we, if we go into CRM and just go to clear Dunphy again, when we have it opening up like this, there's quite a lot here. And actually, do I want notes to be displayed? Because notes are, could be paragraphs. I don't want them all squashed up in, in here and making the records look untidy. So we can actually do something about that. And how we do that is we change 
the visibility of what is shown. And what we do is, so again, we have to work with the record list. And so we're going to meet the notes. And then top right, we've got list settings. Um, and, oh, list settings. And here, the green one is in the list. So I don't want the notes in there. Yeah. And I don't want the tasks. I would just like to see, yeah, progress is good. Is there tasks for me? And what type and they yeah okay so that's cool taking that don't need to save it automatically does that and um, then if I just refresh here you'll see much neater now and if we go to the contact record Hermione this time and list we see it's much neater so I've got no tasks for Neil. So on schedule, that's cool. That's all I need to know. In person, what was the date? Blah, blah, blah. And then I can click on it. Be careful when, um, have you seen how you, this, these are links? It's going blue. That will take you to a different page. And I've done that, just been lazy and gone off to another page and had to come back. Just make sure you click in between the text and you'll be, you'll be fine every time. But you click on that and then you have the record. And so that would be all your notes and anything. You can attach files and all sorts of things. And you can actually edit it by clicking the, the pencil and you can edit because you can say, well, actually, there, there was tasks for me. And so both of that's there. And remember I said about um, enabling the comment box? Here you go. This is it just here. This is just a standard flow loop module. Uh, particularly good if you're working as part of a team because you could add somebody or request a response for somebody in the team. Say, hey, we had this meeting. Could you, um, um, uh, you know, let, let them have a copy of the meeting notes, for example. Uh, and then you, you would have a conversation around this record. So that is record lists. That's it. Um, they need a bit of thinking about in terms of what you want it to do and setting up what custom fields you want, but it's massively powerful and so brilliant at making Flolo all the more important to your business because it does your stuff. Um, and uh, you know, it, it, it means that other platforms can't do it because they haven't been set up the way that Flolo's is set up to do it for you. So um, I thoroughly recommend that you have a, a look and see how they could help you. Start by building your own meeting notes um, because the chances are you are going to have meeting and you are going to need notes. So do that and, uh, so that you feel familiar with it and then by all means um, get in touch and um, ask in the threads below uh, you know, about ideas and if it can be done then I'll be happy to help. And above all, I hope you find it useful. So thanks for your time and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Take care till then. Bye-bye.